Welcome back to Ali's allotment. Um, we're actually on the plot today and um, as we've reached spring, I wanted to see where we're up to with things like um, our perennials. And I've established a, a patch of wild garlic here for a couple of years now. And it's really coming along nicely. Um, for those of you who are interested in wild garlic, it is edible. Um, obviously, if you can grow a patch yourself, you can get a hold of seeds online and there will be specialist um, suppliers that can um, provide you with more information. Over here, there's another patch of perennial and it's chives and chives are one of these uh, herbs that you can just chop up and add to things like omelettes and uh, salads um, why would you want to get them from the shops when you can have a little patch like this in your in your garden or an allotment um, even in a, a container on a windowsill um, and just add it to various things it is uh, really giving it's uh, a wonderful herb and once you cut it back it sprouts again and later on in the year you'll find that it produces um, really attractive flower heads that are great for wildlife over here we've got a couple of patches of rhubarb um, there are two varieties uh, I think there are two varieties here I'm going to tidy up the area around it but the rhubarb um, has started to push through and once I've weeded the area again I'll give it some nitrogen feed just to help those rhubarb stems pump out a little bit more really but it's one of the delights of homegrown when you see the crown of the rhubarb emerging and the stems and the fruiting body I say fruiting body it's the stems that you eat anyway and obviously the leaves are poisonous you discard them but we featured rhubarb plenty on the channel so I don't want to say too much about that. This is a, a tub that I've got some garden mint in and it's looking so lush. I gave it a little bit of a tidy up, got rid of some of the old stems, previous year's growth um, and I gave it a nitrogen feed obviously it's a leafy herb so it does need nitrogen and you can see that it's paid dividends but interestingly by chance I want to point out a feature here you can see at the bottom of the pot that the root has managed to emerge from one of the holes that were put in on the side and this is demonstrating how um, good this plant is at spreading. It's an invasive plant and that's telling you how determined it is to, to grow, which is why you would keep this plant in a container and not let it loose in your garden. Um, you'll be very sorry if you did that and it'd be very hard to clear it up. But yeah, so that's another wonderful herb to be thinking about maybe adding to your garden and it's great in um, steeped in a bit of water and having as mint tea and while we're here I'll just point out that at this time of the year I um, sow my broad beans and again I've featured things like sowing of and planting of broad beans in the past so we won't be showing you that today but Nevertheless, if you haven't got your broad beans going, uh, those of you who look to 
grow it in early spring then I'd get on with that thanks for watching see you soon